I've been reflecting on that joint statement that the UK, France and Germany put out about demanding a ceasefire in Palestine and how insidious it really is. The very fact it does not mention Israel at all in that statement is so telling. There is a mention of Hamas and even Iran, but there was absolutely no mention of Israel, the people who are slaughtering Palestinians en masse. Furthermore, they don't actually talk about any actions they're going to or have taken. They've said, we've spoken to those involved and we are going to take action and we have taken action. They don't outline it. They don't say what action they've actually taken. You know, Keir Starmer or Scholz just having a cheeky phone call with the Qataris. I don't know if that counts as actually taking action. Uh, David Lammy going and talking to an Egyptian guy, like, tell us what the conversation was, what you guys are doing. They just don't, and they won't. And it's it's literally them trying to gaslight you into being like, well, at least they're doing something. It's, in my opinion, the same as the House campaign just saying, yeah, ceasefire, without explaining how they're going to go about it, what they're going to do to achieve it, what other things they're going to do. The massacre, the Fajr massacre, as it's now being dubbed, which killed 100 people who were praying inside a school, it was using US bombs. US weapons blew up that school and killed 100 people. The fact the US gave Israel, I believe, $3.5 billion the day before... That massacre is telling. The fact that the UK government isn't saying anything about banning arms sales to Israel when the UN have come out and said European and US made weapons are what's killing Palestinians. It is insanity. Like the UK government is doing the same thing. They're gaslighting you. They're saying, yeah, we're going to suspend new uh, arms licenses for export to Israel. But the existing ones... We're, it's pending review and it's been a week and it's a week of more atrocities being committed in by the UK's allies. It is sickening the fact that these politicians can feel like they can basically dangle a carrot in front of you and be like, oh, look, the carrot, stop asking me hard questions. Stop pushing us to answer the harsh questions. It's why it's infuriating when people are like, oh, you're asking for too much. Brother, I'm asking them to stop giving weapons. Reagan made a phone call in the 80s and stopped Israeli aggression at least once. That was Ronald Reagan. You think Keir Starmer can't do that? You think Joseph Biden can't do that?